Hey guys, welcome back to Heli Handmade. So today is another quick little video just to show you how I preserve my uh, pumpkins ready for getting them ready to carve and for any decoration around my house or mainly probably outside because I think that's mostly where they're going to be. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Please remember to subscribe. Please remember to subscribe, uh, like and leave me a comment and I will get into the video. So, as you can see, I'm going to be cleaning them, but I've added bleach and washing up liquid, as it's supposed to be good for, well, preserving them so that they last longer. I was hoping that the heavy ones would go to the bottom, but they're all floating, including this one. Um, but I'm going to clean them all in a second and then see where I go from there. I love this one. Look, it's got all the witch's bubbles on. So short. But unfortunately, we've had one casualty and one of um, these white ones that's showing up yellowy white over here. Um, one of the little ones, unfortunately, has got smashed and started to rot. So that one's had to go away just in the middle of here there is another he's running away back oh, that one <laughs> it's shy it doesn't want to be on camera so yeah I'm just gonna clean these and then hopefully I'll leave them in water for enough time that they will actually preserve for a fair while that big boy is getting uh, carved some of these others I think some of the white ones I'm going to carve because I want some of the seeds um, and see if they're, they come a different like whenever I plant them they come out a different colour because I want the white that white grey is just beautiful but I do quite like that too but yeah but these, the really yellowy white ones, these don't have any sort of pumpkin lines on, which I find bizarre, but I suppose that's more of the squash coming out in it. That's, that's the same thing, I believe. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to clean and I will get back to you in a little bit. Boy. Right, so they're all clean now. I'm just going to let them rest for a little bit um, and soak in. Uh, so hopefully they will preserve and if they don't I will update you and we're going to try a different method I found this um, using bleach water and dish soap one on goo no oh, was it goo pinterest sorry if I can find it again I'll link down below who was the person that suggested it so I'm going to see if they last any longer I hope they do but this little beauty here, I think I'm going to put a little witch's hat on her and put her outside because she's just, just too pretty. I don't want to carve into her. And then obviously this one, I'm going to try my uh, attempt of uh, art again. We'll get there. We'll get there. My carving skills have some improvements to do. Um, but I'm thinking about these white ones, draw, um, drilling, once I've scooped it out, at least one of them or so, I'm going to um, drill some holes through and then just put a light inside so it's a bit like a lamp and do it that way and see how it looks like. And then some of them, like that tiny little one over there, that one's going to just stay as it is um, and I don't know about the others yet, they may stay as they are as well. Or I might carve another, another one out, probably that big yellowy white one. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video again. Um, and I hope it helps you with your pumpkins. I'd love to know if it does work for you. If it doesn't work, please um, get back to me and I'm happy to both have a look on if there's anything else that we can try on pumpkins. Because I've not tried this method either but it's what i've seen online i believe i said it in my video it was a few days ago that i filmed it um but yeah so anyway i hope you enjoyed this and 
I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Please remember, like, subscribe, comment.